There's is a long time to wait to learn the name of a killer, but hard work has paid off in Bristol County. It certainly have. Investigators traced a homicide suspect to the Dominican Republic, finally bringing some sense of closure to a local family. NBC 10's Aaron Coogan is working the story live from New Bedford now. Aaron? Yeah, well, some cases can be solved with just the smallest scraps of evidence. In this case, it was a photo that linked the ID to the suspect. Brent was a great man. Uh, he was a leader. He was smart. At 20 years old, Newport native Brent Davis had a lot of life to live. Our mothers raised us very well. But we made decisions on our own. And one of those decisions led Davis to New Bedford in October 1991. He was shot and killed here at the Brick and Wood housing project in what police believe to be a drug dispute. The shooter never caught until now. There were a number of witnesses at the scene at that time who identified a person as doing the shooting. Now, he was referred to as Bobby. Obviously, that's not uh, an infer affirmative identification. And further investigation, the, the new investigation was learned uh, his identity uh, was determined to be Claudio George. In 2020, the cold case unit at the Bristol County District Attorney's Office reopened the case. Using this sketch of the suspect in a list of witnesses, it was determined Claudio George immediately fled New Bedford for New York. Accumulating a separate criminal record there, he was deported to the Dominican Republic. He was shot and killed in 2006 at the age of 40. Detectives collecting these photos from family now credited with solving the case. Witnesses who were identified at the time were shown photo uh, arrays that included the defendant, George, and they said that's him for sure. That was. Brent Davis's mother now lives in a nursing home in Newport. The DA reached out to her to tell her that they have solved the case now in New Bedford. Aaron Coogan, NBC 10 News. Aaron,